Hello and welcome to another video where so checking out Macaroon Craft today. So this doesn't have anything from mini expansion. So we've covered pretty much every class at this point for mini expansion, so we've done at least one deck with every single card. Uh, well not every single card, but we've done one deck with at least one new card every single time, which is nice. So I thought we need to start visiting some of the more competitive decks just so we can get them in early in the month before the next expansion starts to come around. So, starting us off with the Mecha Rune, one of the top decks right now. Very solid build, hasn't really changed since the start of the expansion too much. Although I definitely noticed that some people do mess around with numbers a lot, and I found that this one in particular has done it pretty well for me, even though I'm not big on the Mecha Rune style of gameplay normally. So, we are only going to get right into this and check it out. So I've definitely found it very easy to start to streak with this deck when I'm playing it typically, so don't find that too uncommon. Once you get used to how the mechanics of the deck go, it's actually not too bad to play, even though it still isn't my favourite kind of RuneCraft deck to typically play. But we start off with a reasonable hand. Magitek Golem is actually one of the crucial cards for making this deck work fully. Uh, being able to deal potential damage anytime you want, along with the life form, which is any kind of draw, plus mecha books also. So we've actually already got three of the core cards of the deck in our hand, four if you want to count Tetra, uh, which does produce a lot of uh, mecha cards for us to use. Unfortunately, I played that out early, got pretty pretty heavily hit on, which sucks, but it was at least a decent bait, since I didn't really have a lot else to play early on. Pretty much every card in this deck supports the Mecha Archetype, it definitely helps us out, other than Zealot, which is just straight up damage, since we do tend to play a reasonable amount of spells. This guy can also go face, which makes him extremely good and easy to play. But of course, his damage on the fall was more important, since the Bane was going to be pretty devastating. And now Omen of Disdain, that's not a fun one when you get the free Evo, so we're looking at an Evo Dragon deck by the looks of this. At least we should be able to play Mecha Book deck turn on 5 without any issue, trade into the 5-1, leave it up, probably lose it to the 1-1, but that's a fair trade. We're getting rid of 2 followers for the cost of 1, plus setting up our long-term gain of every single follower basically being decreased by 1, and every single card being decreased by 1, thanks to, of course, the um, regain of play points for every Mecha follower we play. So Tetra, perfect way to go. I do need to free up some space though if I want to take full advantage of her, so I did decide to play out the not so great play there. But it was definitely the worthwhile thing to do, I think. Since we already had two other Techno Lords in our hand, wasting one should be okay. Raging Dragon, not good. Definitely not what you want to see there. We do now have to take this board by storm. And we can start making some really big plays with our Robo Goblin. And another Tetra. That also gives us the Delta Cannon guaranteed to return back to our hand. And I don't have to spend the repair mode, but I did. Mainly because I wanted to go for the extra draw. So I wanted to decrease its cost down at the same time. Plus I wanted to get Zealot's cost down. A nice Genesis Dragon play, most likely going to be hitting face, trying to pressure us. That's actually fine. We have pretty much got lethal here, I think, with the Clarks as well, if we want it. And why wouldn't we at this point? All we have to do is hit face, and pretty much take the game. With one over lethal. Plus, the Zealot, Zealot actually got dropped down low enough to put us four over if we want it to be. Which is really good. I actually like being well over. And then that was a little bit of BM. I played basically whatever the hell I could there. Just to see what else I could have got out of the deck. Now, following up next, we have a dragon. Oh no, forest. Sorry, dragon last one, forest this one. I gotta remember which order they went in. Ah, oh, forest craft. Okay. So, Forest Craft, not too much of an issue usually. They're not too hard to deal with. It's definitely one of the easier matchups you'll play. Especially since we have so much good removal. As long as you know Brick early game, which... Honestly, this deck doesn't do that often because it does run a lot of good low-cost cards or easy-to-play-out cards. Jet Broom is a great one since we can go for spells or for followers if we want to. 
Typically I go for spells, but sometimes the old assembly droid isn't too bad, especially if you want to boost up the Techno Lord. But since we already have Zealot, I think definitely going down the Zealot path is the best bet we've got. And Fairy is very easy to counter with Jet Broom, so we're definitely going to have a really, really nice early game setup. And double Zealot, whew, that's nice. We got a good spell boost already. Plus the Mech Staff next turn if we want to use that one. Which, judging by what they just played, we are definitely going to want to do that. Since we can't use Evo Tetra yet. This gives us an extremely good start. It's going to make it very hard for the Forest player to recover from this point on. Peerless Shot though is a good one. I'll give him that. Every time I see a deck of Peerless Shot in it, I go, oh, there's a little bit of respect for playing such a good card. There's really no big downside to it, to be honest. So our Tetra play is great now. We've got double repair mode, we've got the Tetra, we can go for a pretty easy Evo. And we've got double Robo Goblin as well. So repair moding Tetra up, getting it to max, while at the same time spell boosting our Zealots. Definitely one of the best things I could have done there. They are going for the early fairy play, looking to try and get their May out, I would say. So they can use it to ping. And they did get a nice one, honestly. Hitting the Tetra was definitely what they wanted. But we can now start just snowballing this game with our Tetra again. Since it is one of the harder followers to be removed, thanks to its good health total going up against Forest. And at this point, all we really need to do is control the board, hit them with Delta Cannon occasionally and win with that. I would have went for Delta Cannon but I didn't have enough play unfortunately. Okay sorry about that guys I'm trying to sort this stuff out but this is good so Techno Lord's going to be able to wipe their board pretty comfortably. Repair mode into this and another goblin setup. We're basically going to be focusing on Delta Cannon Retrieval going for the Zealot combinations and pretty much ending the game with those. Hoverboard Mercenary, not a problem. Looks like they're going for a full mecha board play at this point. But that's really all they got for their board, which is not that impressive. We can actually take this fairly easily with repair mode. So, mech staff, plus the goblin, plus double zealot, plus double delta cannon. That will leave them with just one health left, and then we set up for a full on delta cannon next turn to win the game, because odds are they're not getting us down from 20 and wiping our board all in one turn. Which pretty much guarantees us lethal at that point. So not a huge shocker there. So overall this deck is definitely one of the top tier decks, no wonder it does so bloody well in everything that I've tried so far, and is a lot of, a lot of fun to play, although like I said, it's not my favourite deck, it's still a lot of fun, and it still gets the job done really nicely, so if you guys are looking for a rune deck, definitely recommend playing this one, it should be good until the end of the expansion, I would assume, so if you are looking for it, you'll find the link in the description below, be sure to like button and subscribe for more content, until next time guys, see ya.